back to our youtube channel ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for your great support to this channel now earlier today the former prime minister raila Odinga had urged kenyans about uh, the theme or which gen z are saying that ruto must go and on his speech it was quickly picked by dr miguna miguna on a great response to Raila Odinga. Let me just begin with whatever Raila Odinga had said, then I read for you of Miguna Miguna. Ruto goes, then what? Ruto may go, then Gachagua takes over implementing bad policies. Ruto can also say, I am tired. Let the military general take over. Then the country begins to go through what Egypt went through after Tahiri Square. Ruto must go cannot be the, an end it is it it is at times of crisis like this that a country needs to talk we are not doing it to save ruto we are doing it to save kenya that is Raila Odinga's speech so it means on that speech Raila Odinga is going against Rigadi Gashagwa and he have revealed to us the next plan him and ruto they are having on Rigadi Gashagwa now to Miguna Miguna's Twitter. Miguna Miguna is saying, Mr. Conman at Rail Odinga, revolutionaries have addressed that question numerous times, but you are busy chewing public money with Zakayo at William Ruto's without public permission. Stop betraying the people, stop selling fear to Kenyans. Hashtag Ruto must go. That is Miguna Miguna's tweet. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to say one or two, three points on this today's discussion about Ruto must go as the theme of the day. But before I carry on, if you are watching me for the first time and you've never uh, subscribed to this YouTube platform, I request you kindly do me a favor, take a one second and click that notification bell and subscribe. In that next time when I upload you such kind of a video, the video will automatically come to your YouTube platform. And to the members, I want to appreciate you so much for your great support because if it was not your support, then this channel could have not reached where it is as of now. And please consider to give this video a thumb of like. Meanwhile, let's proceed. Why do you think Raila Odinga is defending President Ruto? Because he was once or the man who used to go for demonstration and he used to urge Kenyans to get out in large numbers and go and demonstrate to express their feeling. Therefore, there is ironical move, movement here that the current opposition is supporting the government and the opposition is not interested on Ruto Mastro. But we are seeing the youths in this country are demanding for their right and their right is well articulated and they are insisting that the current head of state must go because of his total failure which that is the uh, news trending in social media as per now therefore if ruto must go ruto must go in many ways and we are all aware of those many ways but you see Raila Odinga is now telling the Gen Z who are saying that Ruto must go that our country need a talk, which is true, that we must have a dialogue. But what these people are saying is that Ruto is someone who cannot be trusted anymore. And that is why these people are not interested on the dialogue. And according to whatever they are now telling people in social media, the Gen Z are saying that Ruto have lied for them several times, he had have, have lied to their parents, and that is the trend, and that is the characteristic of each and every person uh, who have managed to reach at the presidency posi posi position. Uh, when we recall uh, the late Mike Kibaki, he tried his level best to ensure that country Kenya have free education. We we had even we had even Uru Kenyatta, but it started during Uru Kenyatta's time when Uru had that trouble 
with the current deputy people went to the street so it is a kind of uh, political spirit always emerged to various people in this country various leader i mean and therefore if we have that spirit that ruto must go we must also look at, on the consequences the consequences is that he might, he might either refuse to go and re retain the power sit on uh, sit on the power whether you like it or not because he's the president he might use any forces as much as we are saying that there is no permanent leadership so Raila Odinga number one uh, is getting fear and he knows Ruto and that is why he is urging the voters that if you insist that Ruto must go you must know that there are consequences which you are going to experience on whatever you are saying that Ruto must go but when you look at this you will also realize that Raila Odinga is trying to defend his beneficiary benefit side that is what he's trying to defend. And we are also seeing Raila Odinga, Miguna Miguna is also thwarting Raila Odinga's speech by saying that Raila and Ruto are birds of the same feathers. So if they are birds of the same feathers, it means that they are no longer being trusted up to this point. And could this be the reason why we are finding that there are cases which people are now demanding for demonstration? As if this is not enough, today government spokesperson Mwaura had issued a speech and his speech was a kind of apolo apo apologies, apologies which we expect that President Ruto must now listen to the people and allow people to, to, to express their feeling and he must again subject himself to Kenyans in order our country should not turn into chaos. I think that's the best way and according to me, uh, I'm uh, just advising the current head of state to listen to those who are demonstrating. And that one, sh that, that one should be the first priority he must do as a president. As much as we will say, oh, but let us put all those political angles aside and check the vision and the future of this our country. I rest my case at this point ladies and gentlemen. I wish you all the best.